Now, why do we want the dream body? Is it just vanity? No, you guys, how, you have to understand. Men, women, I'm gonna teach you something today, men. And girls, I am going to make you feel less guilt and shame about your desires for your perfect body. Here's why. At the basis of all creation is a concept of yourself, of how you see you, all right? And through how you see you, you will look through the eyes of others and reflect back to you insecurities, right? Like, what is he looking at? What are they looking at? What do they think of me? Now, we never had this when we were little, little tiny, but then all of a sudden it's like, why are you doing that? When you're little tiny and you're just doing your thing and you're shining and you know, you're, you're asking for love and it's not weird and you're getting love and it's not weird. And then all of a sudden the cuteness starts to wear off or you get a little bit too loud. And all of a sudden it's like, mm, don't do that. Don't say that. Don't feel that. Don't think that. Gosh, forbid, don't ever look like that. And that starts to distort your self-image. And that self-identity, that self-image, that self-concept becomes the seed that which everything is grown out of, right? That's where your money line is. That's where your relationship line is. That is where, um, you know, where, where you take chances in the world, where you put yourself out there, where you don't put yourself out there. Every single woman I have met to date, to date, has a secret desire to shine with a simultaneous fear of shining. It's like, oh my gosh, I wanna share the world with what I have. I wanna, I wanna wear my fashion trend. I wanna do this, but then I don't want the judgment. I don't want people seeing me. I don't want people knowing me. Why? Why don't you want people to see you? Why don't want you want people to know you? Is because your past is haunting, right? But what if, what if, just by focusing on the body, which is not materialistic at all, because guys, this is your manifesting house. Without your body, you're not manifesting any matter into form because you take the desire, right? And then you materialize it through the kingdom, through this physical body. And then basically whatever you're feeling, experiencing, expecting, assuming is going to be basically 3D printed outside of you. So you're the player. Okay. And through your assumptions, beliefs, stories, traumas, fears, goals, dreams, you're going to print out of you through people, places, and things an exact algorithm match of what you most focus about. And that's going to come back to you in the form of playmates and playgrounds. Okay. And you're going to manifest all of this outside of you. So if you don't like what you're seeing in the mirror and you don't like how you feel about yourself, then that, that insecurity is gonna shine in every one of your relationships. It's gonna shine in your purpose. It's gonna shine in your money and it's gonna be highlighted. Your insecurity is literally going to be highlighted. The very thing that you think you're hiding, the very thing that you think that nobody knows about you is actually it's on display because law of attraction has, it works in extremes. So fear and love are huge amplifiers. They have huge, they're huge charges. So what you fear or hate projects and what you love projects. And then you get this like fruit and flowers through, you know, all of your, your, your middle ground. All right. And so if you are not Number one, being super self-focused, I don't mean selfish because that has a negative connotation, self-focused to be in the super suit, in the manifesting vehicle that is going to create worlds for you, then you pursuing the job or the money or the guy is always 100% going to end in insecurity. It's going to end in shock is going to end in blindsided and like, how can he treat me that way? Well, you were secretly treating yourself that way. And maybe you're not saying the words that they said to you, but you were feeling the insecurity, hoping that they would just love you for who you were, hoping that they would just accept you for where you were. And I know through the power of, of basically consciousness, although you believe that there are 3d construct rules that you have to follow you guys, you have no idea what this body is capable of. And I know you're starting to learn it. If you've read Joe Dispenza's book, Becoming Superhuman, you're starting to dabble. You're starting to put your toes in there. But if you've been studying epigenetics like I have for the past, what, 20 years, then you really are gonna understand that you truly are unlimited, except that whatever is at the root of you, all right, is what is going to grow out. 
And I hear so many of you reach out and say, how do I get him to change? How do I get the job? How do I get the money to come in? But ultimately, the, this is my diagram. The seed is you, the soil, right? So like the seed is the unborn child and the soil is the womb. And no, you don't know how it's gonna look when it comes out. You don't know if it's gonna have daddy's eyes, you don't know what, but once it manifests flower or fruit, okay? You are basically looking at a spitting image of what you secretly and overtly and suppressively believe about yourself. And that is a rude awakening. I know I've, I've been smacked in the face by that flower so many times, like, oh, that can't be, can't be true. That is not me. That is not who I am, but it is. It is, if you track it back to your first seven years, you're gonna find the same pattern. You're gonna be humiliated. You're gonna be betrayed. You're gonna be left out. You're not gonna be seen and heard. You're gonna feel unworthy. You're gonna feel all of these things. And so what, what we're doing to create the quantum leap is we're not trying to change the apple tree into a banana tree. We are working at the root. Okay, so how do you manifest your dream body? A really quick 90 day boot camp okay. with like, if you were gonna go work out with like a Hollywood trainer or something, they would kick your ass. And that's what I plan to do if you're gonna do this boot camp with me. So it's called how to manifest your dream body in 90 days. And also it's how consistent you have to be. There's gonna be no days off, but in 90 days, you could be sitting in a super suit that is beyond your wildest dreams because basically your body is just the biography of your mind. So all of the pain and trauma that you haven't worked through, all of the heartbreaks and failures and you know, the insecurities and the injuries and the, you know, time issues and the anxiety, all of that stuff is literally sitting in your body, creating your nervous system to feel like it's got a constantly 24 hours beyond the defense, which, if you're looking at that brainwave, it's beta, and beta accelerates aging. It speeds you up to protect you, right? Nature, okay, we don't get it, but if we're going to truly have the body become the age that our soul feels, like our spirit feels, like how old is your body right now? But how old do you feel, right? Like the more of this work you do, the younger you feel. The more of the shadows you get rid of, the baggage you get rid of, but a lot of the aftermath is sitting in your body and your cells are, are they either a, a cellmate, like they either become a jail cell, cells, or they become a cellular signal. You've got to look at your body as like those cells are like CDs. And just like we used to burn them back in the day and record over them, your cells are doing the exact same thing. So just because you've raised your consciousness or you've started affirming I am's, your whole entire body was created out of your root beliefs a month ago, two months ago. And if you haven't gone in and changed this, uh, the, the root signature, then the flower will always look the same. But what I've noticed is if you're affirming, like I am rich, but you feel lacking in your, in your root chakra, you're gonna create a storm outside of you because that is in such great opposition. The same with you trying to go on a diet, or trying to eat perfect. You know, the reason why no two diets work for people is because no two people have the same thinking mind, right? What I wanna show you guys how to do is alchemize food. And what that means is you tell food what it's going to be to your body. You decide what that looks like. You decide if outside toxins can hurt you. You decide because you are a creator. But the more power you give away, the more rules you have to follow by other people's belief systems. The more questions you ask other people, the smaller your life is gonna get because everybody has doubts and fears that they can't wait to share with you. And if you take my 90 day course, I promise you, you will not be asking anyone for anything except you because you have the infinite power and you haven't been connecting to it. You have the power to not only slow your age down, but turn it backwards. Okay, you can change every single thing about, about you. If you guys look at videos of me five, five years ago, like I've changed my entire face. And no, I have not had surgery. I haven't had Botox, nothing, no fillers, nothing. And I have been working on this for the past three years and thinking, you know what, even if it takes me a little bit longer because I'm not going for the quick fix, this is gonna last me a lifetime. 
And once you actually become the commander of your own body, you set it and forget it, which means that it stays at the weight that you say it is. It metabolizes food the way you say it does, but you have to go in and you have to change this. So I have it set up in three different different elements of this boot camp. It's basically Imagineering, which shows you how to connect with your life force energy and become the authority. So you don't need anything outside of you. And part two is the thought rehab. You have to completely change the way you're thinking about yourself and others. And part three is the alchemy affirmation embodiment piece where we get into the body and we change the muscle memory. We change the cellular memory. We detox all the old programs out and we start walking in that new space. And not so, only is it gonna look phenomenal, it is gonna do things. So for almost 50 years old, I don't even need readers yet. And my IQ keeps raising, all right? Because I said so. Not because I'm reading or studying or any of that stuff. Once you study enough to realize you are a creator, you should put all the books away and start practicing, okay? So yes. That